I'm here to apologize. Rick overreacted. It was very hypocritical of him to condone anything unfortunate happening to Manny. Got it. You're scared. Bye. Sam, something else we need to address, and I think that we should do just that. I know that you blame me for what happened to your brother, and I know that you blame me for what happened to your baby. Oh, I don't really think you want to get into this and right now, Alexis. I realize that you and I are never going to be friends. However, we do live in the same town. We are going to run into each other from time to time, and I'm hoping that we might manage to be civil in public. What do you want from me, Alexis? Peace. Law school, huh? It's just a thought. I think it's a great idea. It's a lofty goal. <laughs> it's very ambitious of you. I can tell you it's an arduous process. Oh, what, are you suggesting that I'm not smart enough? No. Well, I, I, I would just like you to know that it's actually in my genes. My mother happened to be a brilliant woman, not to mention a selfish, patronizing bitch. You know, you had a very good point earlier. It was a mistake to come. No, you know what? You want it in. And now you're in, and now you're not leaving until I've had my say. You better go see what's up. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye-bye. What happened? Are you okay? Morgan keeps leaving his stuff on the stairs. I'm trying to teach him not to, but apparently I'm not having much of an effect. What the hell's going on? Uh, I fell down the stairs. Hope the uh, noise didn't disturb you at all. I figure something out, and we need to talk about it. I am not the person you should come to when you're trying to sell your noble misunderstood mother routine because I understand you perfectly. You are consumed by yourself, and it is that complete and utter self-involvement that made it so easy for you to put my baby at risk and oh let my, my brother die. That's enough. Done being the place where you dump your anger. And I am done feeling guilty for the alleged wrongs that I committed against you. Not alleged. Fact. No. The one thing, the only thing that I did was lose it with you in the hospital chapel when I thought my daughter's life was on the line. I was desperate. You were my only hope. And I said things to you without thinking. And for that, I apologize profusely to you as I have done a thousand times already. The only valid accusation that you have made of me, Sam, is that I put my daughter's well-being above everything else. That's it. I am done apologizing to you for anything else. Nice. That conveniently glosses over the fact that you're responsible for my brother's death. Dr. Patrick Drake made the decision to give me the antidote. He did that because I have two children who are... Of course, it always comes back to your sainted motherhood. Is there it? ever going to be a moment where you might show me a modicum of respect? I am certain that you are going to have children someday, Sam, and you're going to know what it's like to put their wealth above yours, and I can't wait personally for that moment, because maybe then you will show me a little understanding and a bit of forgiveness. You didn't return any of my calls. Yeah, we were gone. I was uh, just busy, you know. Yeah. What's the problem? What? Well, it started with Max. What? You been talking to Max? Well, he, uh, he's he been tailing Carly for me, and she's making his life hell, by the way. You're surprised? I mean, you know, why is Max on Carly well, anyway? Because Michael called when you were away. All right. He wanted to talk to you about Jackson Carly. What about him? They went out on a date. You were unreachable, so Max brought it to me. Well, they didn't spend a lot of time at the at the hospital taking care of Courtney's baby. They just probably went out to dinner. It's not I a big just, deal. You know, I think it's more. You kidding me, right? Carl, Carl, first of all, Carl doesn't even like Jax that much. She, he, she knows that he's not on our side. She's just probably doing this just to get my attention. Okay, you know, so that's just... what I thought, but I, I actually think that she might be falling for Jax. Jason, okay. never happened. Well, well, just in case. I told right. I told Max to make sure it didn't, but he trailed him to a room at the Metro. Wait, 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 wait. They got a room? Did they... I don't know what they did, because Carly saw Max. 
You know Max is going to want a raise for this. You know how he is. Well, he should get a raise. Okay, Jackson Carly, that's not good. I assume you know that. You got to ask me that? Well, why did you put Max on surveillance? You know he has no experience with Carly. Why didn't you take her yourself? I had something else to deal with. Must have been important. You might want to sit down for this. Do me a favor, will you? Don't tell him to sit down because it makes me nervous. Just tell me what's going on. Okay. Uh, I... You know, I don't even... All right, during the epidemic, yeah. okay, Danny was delirious with fever. Mm -hmm. and, and he kept saying things like Sam had been chosen mm -hmm. as a child, that he was glad their parents made them brother and sister. It sounded to me like Sam was adopted. So she got a DNA test done mm -hmm. on Danny, and she found out that they were not biologically related. Wow, well, must have been a shock, right? That was the first. So I, I put Stan on track in Sam's birth certificate. Didn't have any luck at all. But he did find uh, the clinic where she was born, okay? And then that led us to a private school in New Hampshire where we found out there a 16-year-old uh, girl dropped out for a semester. It timed out with when Sam was born. Okay. So that explains why you couldn't, you know, do what you had to do with Carly, right? So? Who, uh... Who's Sam's mother? It's uh, Alexis Davis. <laughs> okay. If this is, okay, seriously, if this is your idea of a joke, then you, your sense of humor hasn't gotten better since the coma. Am I laughing? No, you're not laughing, but let me tell you something. It's impossible. Alexis is not Sam's mother. She is Christina's mother. Have Stan go back, Sonny. redirect what he has to do. Sonny, do, have you, him go do you think, I would, do you think I would accept this without tracking every possible way? You think I would bring this to you unless I was absolutely sure? No, but, you know, it's just... It's here. What is that? It's all there. All of it. Ah. <sighs> Do you have any idea what this means? I, s I slept with a mother and her daughter and got them both pregnant. That means that the, uh, the baby that Sam was carrying, our child, is Alexa's granddaughter. What kind of creepy, freaky crap is this? <laughs>